is typically, uh, you know, data is created, it might sit in memory, um, and then it's either used, discarded, or stored. Um, once it's stored, to me, that's considered persistent data. So the, the second it's stored, uh, we now need to start thinking about uh, why is it persisting? Um, why am I storing that data? It's IoT data, typically you want to read it immediately. It's some sort of a value um, that I'm using to plug into a greater um, you know, algorithm to drive some sort of information. Uh, so I'm going to be reading that data immediately. But if that data has value to maybe be read at a future time for other type of analytics, um, so AI and, and big data analytics are really starting to transform the concept of uh, access to existing data. The more data you feed these, typically uh, the more type of valuable results you can get, the more accurate results you get. Um, so you might be storing data to be able to drive analytics in the future. And this has been going on forever, uh, you know, Power BI and BI tools within organizations that is taking existing data and trying to transform that into value for themselves. I guess the third reason is, is for disaster recovery. If you happen to lose your data, um, you know, effectively you're losing your organization. So I need to be able to recover that from somewhere. So I'm generally storing data again to be able to recover it for, uh, for those reasons. And then the last reason uh, ultimately can be compliance. Um, whether it's regulatory compliance or some sort of um, you know, federal regulation that is requiring you to uh, store uh, data for a you know, certain long time, you know, whether it's SOX or HIPAA, um, you know, SEC has rules as well. So um, sometimes it's simply just that you're forced to by, by the government based on the type of data that you're storing.